Hey, what's up? David here with After Video Effects, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be creating this ancient stone composited into this like forest scene here. And uh, it's a pretty intense setup because there's a lot of techniques that we're going to be incorporating into this uh, composite. So, yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So we're going to make a new comp here. I'm going to call this uh, Stone Composite. Full HD, make it 25 frames per second, 10 seconds long hit. Okay. Now, first thing we're going to do is just create our like stone look. So what I did was I grabbed a text of an O, and this is the Berlin Sands font so just do like that and we'll just scale this up I'm holding down shift to, as I scale it and I'll just scale it a little wide make it a little larger okay so something like that and then I'm going to pre-compose this. So Control Shift C. I'm going to call this um, Alpha. Okay. Now what we're going to do is add some bevel to this. So we're going to go into Layer, Layer Stars, Inner Glow, and I'll go into Normal. So this to 100%. Black. Set the uh, technique to precise. We'll just increase that. So something like that's pretty good. I think my value was around 30. So yeah, that looks pretty good. And then what we're going to do is pre-compose this. So Control Shift C and call this bevel. And we'll move all the attributes and hit OK. All right. So now that we got our uh, bevel. What we're going to do is just add in our background. So I've got this background texture. I'm just going to drop it in here. And I'll just shut the eye off for that for now. And what we're going to do is add the alpha comp into here. All right. Now what we're going to do is just create some texture on top of this. So what I mean by that is going to create a new solid. I'll call this noise and we'll add the fractal noise effect we'll make it uh, rocky i'm just going to crank up this contrast here and the brightness as well okay and maybe make this about 150 set this to multiply so that way when we create our um, like stone indentation it will cover this um, bevel part as well okay so just might increase that a little bit more contrast up cool and then we'll just pre-compose this so control shift c I'll call this um, stone map okay shut these two off okay so now we can add in this wall texture i'll leave a link for where you could um, download all these so don't worry about it and we're going to pre-compose this so Control shift c we'll call this uh stone texture and we'll move all the attributes here okay now what we're going to do is first thing is get the set mat effect and cut an alpha for this so Select like the alpha. Now we've got our perfect uh, cutout and I'm going to add the CC glass effect. I'm going to select the stone map and we're just going to play all these settings here. So set this to zero and we're just going to maybe make this about 35. Seems pretty good. The lights, we're going to make it AE lights. So now we've got some indentation going on here. 
which is good. That's what we want. And I'll just add an unsharp mask to this to make it a little bit more sharp. I'll crank this to 55. So you may not be able to see it, but that's what we're going for. Okay, so we need to create some inner shadows for this. So I'm just going to create, go into layer, layer stars, inner shadow. Oh, oops. Not that one. Inner shadow. And you can see what it's doing already. If I just turn on the alpha, uh, we'll just set this as normal. These things feel pretty good. I'm just going to adjust the distance here. Maybe about 20 is good. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So those are my settings for the shadow. Okay, now that we've created our shadow, let's go ahead and create our depth because it's a little, it's looking a little flat. So we can do that by just duplicating this. Let's put it beneath our stone texture. I'll call this stone depth. Okay, let's go ahead and just shut the glass off. And the mask and we'll add the tint we'll add the cc radial blur set the fading zoom and just set this down and we'll get the curves adjustment go into the alpha crank that up as high as we can and then with the rgb we'll just lower that to make it dark like that okay so that's all we really need to do for the depth and yep it's looking okay let's go do some lighting on this so let's go ahead and just maybe add some lights so control alt shift l let's make it Parallel light. Let's move, crank that up. And let's just move this up here so we can get some nice lighting happening. Um, okay. So like that. And then maybe we can add like a ambient light. Make this about maybe 80. I'll just fill in the lights down here. And maybe one more light. So we'll make this a point light. This is going to be like a little highlight for the stones here. So maybe just drag this up. And I'll just lower the intensity a bit. Okay, it's looking like not too bad. We'll do some more adjustments with the lighting. Okay, so I want to create some cracks now onto this. So we can do that by making a new solid. Call these cracks. And we've got this cell pattern effect. Uh, let's do this to crystals HQ. And we'll just increase this contrast. And we'll increase the size as well. Let's go ahead and just add a curves adjustment and just make this a little thinner. Like that. Um, and then we'll pre-compose this. So control shift C. Call this cracks. Hit OK. And then we'll add the set mat effect. We'll just do our usual alpha. And we'll set this to multiply. Okay, so we can fix some of this. So we've just locked this comp. Go into our cracks here. And just lock that. Come back here. Hmm. So we've got this problem of this whiteness happening. So I think it's from the curve. 
curves. Yeah, it's from the curves. So maybe we'll just delete that. Just come back here. Maybe we'll add the curves onto this. What's a T? And I will lower the opacity. Please. The reason why I'm putting curves is because I want these cracks to look thin. I don't want them to look like thick and stuff. We'll add the turbulent to this. So turbulent, this place. And we'll set the size down to like 20 and 25. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We'll just duplicate this turbulent. Let's drop these down. So I like that. that, looks pretty good. Okay, so let's just go back into this comp. All right, so now that we have done that, let's go ahead and just create like a little shadow for the stone. So what I can do is duplicate the stone texture and just put it under, yeah, on top of all these. And we'll call this stone uh, shadow, okay? And then what I'm going to do is just add the tint effect and then just darken that, make it black. And then we'll just make this about like 80% and we'll get the linear wipe effect and then just transition that. So then just like make this about 300, so nice and and then we just angle it somewhere not there is pretty good make this about 35 oh 50 okay and then just make this about 90 okay so now that we've got that let's go ahead and just turn on our background here and it's looking pretty good now the color is not matching it, so we can color correct our uh, background here just to make it a little bit more dark and mystical here. And let's just go ahead and add a tint. Let's drop that down as well. Okay, all right. So I am going to link all of these to stone texture and then I'm just gonna like maybe scale this down here just move it in place uh, maybe around this area is pretty good you know scale down to maybe like 65 is a good value for this okay and I'm just going to duplicate this stone shadow now. So control D. And I just want to get rid of this linear wipe. And make this 100%. And I'm just going to turn off all these effects. And then get the fast box blur. Just make this a little softer. This is going to be our uh, shadow. Make this a 3D layer. I'm just going to rotate this. Let's go into rotation. So I'm just going to rotate 90 degrees. And just place this down here and around here. So, like that. I'm just going to turn this to third res. So, something like that. And I'm just going to stretch it out. Just trying to manipulate this so that. Kind of fits within our shadow here and I'll just put this underneath the stone texture okay and just so that's casting this shadow from this angle or from this light okay just move it up like that okay so that is looking pretty good 
All right, so now what I'm going to do is just trying to get these trees composited back on. So what I can do is just make a new solid. I'll make it white. Call this matte. Hit OK. And what I need to do is if I just solo this, just create these mats around these trees. So I just need to do this quickly. So just give me a minute. Okay, so now that we got our mats done, I'm just gonna unhide that. So I might feather them out maybe about uh, five pixels. And this one I just might just I might lower the passy just to see what it looks like. So for this one I might just squeeze that in here. So I might just make these final tweaks for maybe start compositing this. Yeah, that looks good. So I can pre-compose this. Call this tree mats. And put it on top here. I can duplicate this, put it on top. And then I can set the track mat for this to um, alpha mat. Okay, so now it looks like it's composited behind the trees here. Okay, um, now for this, I might fix up the shadow here a bit. Turn off the stone shadow for now. Uh, shadow. Just focus on this for now. Okay. So let's just go ahead and just make my light rays. So control Y and we'll call this light ray. We'll make it black. Okay. Put this on top here. We'll get the fractal noise. And get the CC radial blur. Set it to fading zoom and just fade that out. Move that up here. Right. Might just play with a little bit of a contrast here. And then I'll just get the mask tool. Just go like that. And I get the solid composite to fix this harsh edge here. And I'll just set this before. Okay. Set this to screen for F for the okay. I just put the contrast a bit like that. Okay. So those are light rays, and what I'm going to do now is just create a new adjustment layer, two adjustment layers to be exact. Call this uh, vignette, call this CC, so we'll start with the vignette, just darken that. Okay. Subtract F, feather that. And we'll get the color correction. So just might make this a little dark. So just dark and mystical. Okay. And go into red. Take away some red. Add some blue. Okay. Get the tint. Just desaturate that color. Okay. Get the unsharp mask as well. And with the stone shadow, uh, stone texture, I might give this a little bit of a haze look. 
looking a little too dark. And I might actually adjust the shading for this. So maybe like 30. That way I can get some nice lighting. All right. And I'll add in the stone shadow back. Can't really see it down here because this tree's blocking in. Okay. I might add in a, like a color correction to this. So. Red, take away some red. Add in some blue. Yeah, might just bring this out even further. Okay. It's looking not too bad at all. And I might adjust this color correction. Okay, so that's looking not too bad. Uh, I might with the light rays, we drop it to passive about 80%, uh, 90. Okay, and I might just animate this evolution. So we'll go time, start maybe like 150. Like that. So that way, the light rays animate as they go along. I might actually just slow that down a bit. Maybe 100 instead. Okay. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and just get our stone composite, drop it into a new comp, make it a 3D layer, get a camera, and maybe we can animate this. So starting from like, hit P and shift A. Move it along the timeline and then just like zoom in. Just like maybe move across here. Okay, so that we get that illusion that we're moving forward in time. So I'm just going to do a quick preview for this. Okay, let's check this out. Cool. Okay, so with this stone, you can even just like adjust like some of the lighting as well because this light interacts with it. So I'll just switch the colors. So yeah, you can see that. Just get some. Get this. Create this hot, hot spot here. And with the stone texture, just make this a little bit less flat. I'll just colorize this a bit. Hmm. Looks like this ambient light I can maybe crank down to 90%. So yeah, that's the end of the tutorial guys. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like as always so people can find. Subscribe if you want to see more. And be sure to hit that bell button to get the notifications. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video.